And speaking of Columbia's win over Franklin County, let's go to the phone lines. We've got Howard Stone. He is the head coach for the Columbia Central Lions. Coach Stone is nice enough to have me on his show every Saturday morning. And uh, it, it's only fair that I get him in here in week 10 after a win. Coach Stone, it's good to talk to you on Friday Night Thunder. Congratulations on tonight's win. Thank you. It's good to talk to you. Uh, we had a big win over Franklin County for us. You got uh, you had a team last year that uh, you, you started off pretty good, and then you get a couple of losses, and 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 not to take anything away from them, but but uh, you, you just never could turn that around. This year, uh, after a loss to uh, Marshall County, uh, you turned it around, and, and and your team, I guess, a little a little more mature, was able to go out to Brighton and get a big win, and that's kind of been a stepping stone for you, hasn't it? Yes, I think you're right. You know, we, we took it on the chin against Lawrence, who, I mean, against uh, uh, Marshall County. We go down to uh, play all the way to Memphis and play a good, brightening team and come, come home with the win. And since then, we've been kind of rolling and uh, kind of hope it keeps it going. You've had you've got some offensive weapons, but Mario Williams has been the one that's gotten most of the press. Uh, talk about his night tonight against a tough, scrappy Franklin County team. And you're right, they're a tough and scrappy team. Uh, he had some good yards. I think he had about a hundred and some odd, I'm not sure how many, but, uh, he made some runs to keep us in the ball game. Yes, he's, uh, he's one of our outstanding players and, you know, if he goes, we go. You've got, you've also got some help from some other kids that, and I know that you've got a whole lot more balance, it seems like, this year than in years past. Uh, talk about who else was a standout for you in your win tonight. Well, I think Yvonne Wisner, he, uh, as far as catching the ball, made a tremendous fourth down catch to keep a drive alive and eventually that led to the, a winning touchdown. He ran the ball also very well. Uh, Jackson Harris, a uh, big tight end, he played exceptionally well with about four or five uh, catches tonight. Uh, our quarterback, uh, Orrin Dell, did a good job tonight. Yes, those are... Uh, really explosive players we have on our football team. Next next year, the uh, we kind of go back to a system that's a little bit more straight up. And and as you're driving home after your week ten game, you get to know who your opponent is most likely. But you don't really know until tomorrow morning. What do you do between now and uh, what are your preparation steps between now and let's say uh, practice Monday afternoon? Well, we uh, we'll find out tomorrow about who we're going to play, and then we'll start swapping some fans. We'll probably uh, try to figure out tonight who we might play and start organizing our thoughts about uh, our opponents. Right now, there could be three or four scenarios that we will have, and we'll start preparing for each one of them a little bit. So when we uh, get the word tomorrow that we can go full steam ahead and uh, – start meeting on Saturday afternoon, meet on Sunday to prepare for them. All right. Well, I know you've got a lot of work to do, but unfortunately you get an extra hour this weekend. Uh, I hope that yeah. uh, I, I hope that you can squeeze in a little sleep in there. And uh, good luck in your preparations for next week. I, uh, I hope you make a long run, and I appreciate you joining us tonight. Well, thank you so much for having me, and uh, we'll see you on the radio. Yeah, I'll see you in the morning. I guess uh, I'm coming on an hour early next uh, uh, because the I don't know if it's not Mule Day again. I know, but yeah, there's something they're going a, on. They're doing a cast, some kind of cast they want to do. Yeah, and so we'll be on an hour earlier. Yes, we will. All right. Well, Coach Stone, I'll talk to you then, and uh, maybe uh, you'll have a better idea who who you're playing then. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. All right. That is Howard Stone. He is the head coach for the Columbia Lions.